In October of 1795, a young military officer with a great thirst for power named Napoleon Bonaparte put down an uprising by royalists. After the uprising had been quelled, a fourth revolutionary government called the Directory was formed and they set up their operations here at the Luxembourg Palace in Paris. After the Directory took over, Napoleon grew to be a very popular hero in France due to his brilliant military victories in Italy. In 1797, the Directory even asked him to take charge of an invasion of Great Britain. But Napoleon did not like the government's plan. Instead, he convinced the Directory to approve an invasion of Egypt. His goal was to disrupt vital British trade in the Middle East and then establish a French colony. It is interesting to note that Napoleon brought scholars along with him when he invaded Egypt. And back in France, their discoveries caused a tremendous fascination for the ancient Egyptian civilization to develop. In the end, Napoleon's plan for Egypt failed. Nevertheless, he remained a strong and respected leader in the eyes of the French people. And as the dawn of the 19th century approached, the French people wanted a strong leader more than a poorly functioning democracy. And in November of 1799, with the help of certain influential politicians, Napoleon brought about an end to the French Revolution by seizing control of the government of France. <laughs>